So I felt, again, a need to put this video out because all that those other videos that were there backing his name and, and proving that he was someone worth working with are gone. The only thing that stays consistent is the grind. Keep on grinding. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Very, very happy to be here today. Hope you are all very happy too and I hope everything's going great with you guys. I had a few questions from a couple of different people in regards to what happened to some of the videos that I've recently took down off of my channel. Now I'm not going to be getting into super huge detail about those videos because if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about and you'll appreciate this video for that reason. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it won't matter because, well, you never knew what was going on anyway. But some videos were taken down from the channel and that was to respect someone else's wishes. We're not gonna be getting into who that is again. The details don't really matter. Those videos were in regards to Daniel Jewelry Inc. I do feel a responsibility to make this video because Daniel Jewelry Inc. was a major player in why those videos were put out. I'd like to leave a takeaway. I'd like to talk to you guys just a little bit about not exactly what we found out in doing the research that we did in regards to those videos that were taken down, but I want to talk to you guys about the takeaway, what that was. I feel like it's very important to have honesty and integrity, especially when it comes to spending a lot of money when it comes to jewelry or uh, any type of a merchandise like that. You, you wanna trust the people that's making your jewelry for you. You wanna trust that individual. I've said to you guys in past videos, it doesn't only come down to the merchandise itself, but who are you buying from? Why are they selling? Are they just looking for money? Are they looking to put their heart into a piece of jewelry? Are they looking to give you great customer service? Why, the whys are important. So in those videos that I took down, I feel as though we discussed a lot of the whys Daniel Jewelry is very, very good, very, very reputable, and that's what I want to talk about today. I was not asked to make this video. Again, I was asked so many times by different people, and we still actually have people on YouTube making videos talking about this situation, even though there's no more evidence that the situation ever happened. You still have people talking about it, but you still have people reaching out to me saying, Joe, why'd you ever take those videos down? Again, it was to respect the privacy of the people involved in that whole situation. They were some of my better performing videos, I must say. caught a lot of attention and uh, I'm grateful to have been able to talk about Daniel Jewelry in the light that I did. Taking the time to make those videos and really researching and really doing my homework on Daniel Jewelry, on David who owns Daniel Jewelry, talking to him, learning about his process when it comes to dealing with people, his business, talking about the heart that he puts behind the work that he makes, all that stuff really left me with a great respect for this company. Now, there's always gonna be individuals who don't appreciate a certain company, who don't like certain business practices or don't like certain people. There's always gonna have that. So you always have the opportunity for many, many people out there who to say, well, I don't like this company for this reason or I don't like this company for that reason. The takeaway from the videos that I took down, however, was Daniel Jewelry was not only an incredible, is, is not only an incredible company when you want custom jewelry, when you want good customer service, but also the person behind the business is a fantastic person. I had some great conversations with David. He was very, very respectful to me and what I was trying to do for this channel, for the viewers of this channel, and for some the other parties that were involved with the situation that was going on. He was very, very forthcoming, gave me tons of information quickly, and I really did appreciate that. I left feeling as if I knew David. Even though I've never met David personally, I left feeling that I know him a lot better. And now when I look at his company, when I look at his Instagram, when I look at the work that he makes, when I look at the people that he's around, I feel good, I feel happy, and I feel like I'm glad to have been a part of trying to maintain this person's business reputation in the way that I was able to do it. It truly was a privilege to me because I do value honesty. That's something that I care about. I think everybody should be honest. People should have integrity. And I'm not saying David's perfect by any means. I don't know the guy all that well. But from what I did experience when working with him, I can tell you personally that if you've never worked with him before and you were wondering about working with Daniel Jewelry, 
working with David from Daniel Jewelry, I would give you the green light in my opinion. I think the guy was great. I think his company does what they do very, very well, respectful. And I think that he has a lot to offer when it comes to his customer service. Are there things that people can do better? Of course there are. But he was very upfront with me and his reputation, when you look at his reputation as a whole, when you look at that company's reputation as a whole, I really think you can get a good idea of who you're dealing with and what you're dealing with before you start working with Daniel Jewelry. So that's what I really wanted to touch on. It was a privilege to, to talk to him and work with him and uh, be able to get those videos out. At the end of the day, those videos were being made by me, somebody who is a third party, somebody who had no emotional or monetary connection to somebody, David, Daniel Jewelry, as well as the other party involved. Looking at the scenario and trying to give you guys the best idea possible of what was going on and whether or not Daniel Jewelry was trustworthy to work with. So yes, those videos are gone. You guys might see other videos talking about the scenario, even though there's no real proof anymore on YouTube of what was going on. But I need to tell you guys, for you who might see those videos out there and not know what's going on, or you guys who are wondering, why did Joe take down his videos? The reason why all that was done was out of respect for the people involved, because, you know, when somebody doesn't want their name on YouTube, you know, you, you should want to respect that. I feel like the, the parties all together, everybody, ended up coming to a, a great conclusion, treating each other like human beings, treating each other with respect, and therefore everyone's wishes should be respected. But the takeaway is you can trust Daniel Jewelry. My personal opinion and my personal experience in everything that the uh, videos that we were talking about that were taken down discussed, it encompassed the fact that he's a trustworthy person. You can feel confident when you send your stuff to him to get worked on, purchasing stuff from him, custom jewelry, and all that stuff. So I felt, again, a need to put this video out because all that those other videos that were there backing his name and, and proving that he was someone worth working with are gone. So I wanted to let you guys know that that hasn't changed. Just because those videos are not here anymore, it doesn't mean that you can't trust him. And in case you were wondering, because you were confused, because you saw some videos out there saying that he might have been put in a strange kind of circumstance, David might have been put in a strange kind of circumstance because of the other parties that were involved, I want you to know that all that's been kind of leveled out and all the parties, last I checked, are happy with the resolution. And David is a fantastic human being, a good person to work with, and so forth. So feel confident going into any purchases that you might make with Daniel Jewelry. I look forward to doing so myself in the future. Uh, David's been nothing but kind to me. I do appreciate that. I appreciate that he was willing to cooperate during all those videos and very grateful. So I hope all of you are doing well. I hope this video helps you guys make a decision. If you're looking for a person to do custom work or even just purchase, check out his Instagram, check out his um, his website, Daniel Jewelry. If you haven't heard about them yet, I'm sure you will at some point because they do great, great work. Anyway, be safe guys. Talk soon. Catch you all at the next video.